everyone, my name is Amelinda Prira Sudrajat. In today's video, I'm joining with... Hi, I'm Michelle Romantika. Hi, my name is Aditya Namo Kamadamada. Sokati Plantation and Kampung Karun. We're going to explain each destination in a very fun way. So stay tuned for this virtual guide. Let's get to the first destination. Uh, but wait, did we forget something? Oh yeah, we need to wear a mask and hand sanitizer. Oh, uh, thank you, Mencia, for reminding us. Found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more to work. I still dream about the days. Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you about the first place that we are going to go to. Of Chitanga destination and recently this place went viral and many people took selfie here and this is Panyindangan Bridge also known as Chihonje Bridge because underneath there is Chihonje River Panyindangan Bridge is a bridge that connects the area between Gunasari village and Baginda village which is separate by Chihonje River it is known as Paninangan Bridge because there is a hamlet called Paninangan in Gunasari village. It was built by the central government in Sumudang Regency area through so ministry, public ports, and public housing. And this bridge was built to replace the previous bridge called Harapan Bridge. And this Panjinangan bridge has a stronger and wider shape than the previous bridge. For your information, it's using Judesa technology and its intent for pedestrian traffic and motorbikes. It was built at the end in 2018 with a budget of 28.5 billion rupiah. And the construction was complete at the end of 2018 and and then its use was inaugurated by the region of Sumedang Mr. Doni Ahmad Mudir in January 2019 this is very beneficial for people into village because economic activities and other activities are easier and closer besides that it can be used as a selfie location and it cannot be separate from nature panorama around the bridge which is rice field area that are split by Chihonje River. Okay, I think it's enough. Thank you. For the second destination, I want to be tour guide in here. Uh, this place, namely Curug Cigarobok or Cigarobok Waterfall. Before entering, I want to buy ticket first. Let's go!
So now, I'm going to introduce you to the third destination in our virtual guide video, and it's Jisoka Tea Plantations. Jisoka Tea Plantation is one of the most famous destinations in Sumedang, especially for everyone who is looking for a good option of destination but affordable price point. Jisoka Tea Plantation is located in Marga Windu, Cipena, Sumedang Selatan, Jawa Barat. Uh, the access to get here used to be very difficult because the access is in a very bad condition and not a lot of people want to come here. But now, the access is reconstructed and now in a very good condition. And the strict rules of social distancing is announced by the governor, people are not allowed to go outside and of course we can go holiday. But when we are allowed to go outside but with the strict health protocol, people start to come here and enjoy the beautiful scenery of Chisoka Tea Plantation. Every day, people in every side of the city or even in a different city uh, come here to enjoy this natural scenery. Especially for every teenager who is looking for an Instagrammable spot for their social media. Nation is also very affordable because uh, you can uh, go here for free and it's very close to the city. It's like 30 to 40 minutes from the city to come here. This place also a very good option of tourist destination. And the exciting news for you, this place is open 24 hours. So you can come here and pretty much if any time.
Sumedang or best well known as Kota Tahu has a lot of variation of tourist destination and Kampung Karibun is definitely one of them. In Kampung Karubun, you just have to pay 25,000 rupiah for the ticket to come here. Besides all the natural scenery, there's a lot of things you can do here, like swimming pool, jeep bike, uh, river cabbing, ATP. You can also uh, add forest adventure with jeep.
a spot for photo shoot. It's like a Papuan style house. It's very authentic and it's like you're in the, you're actually in the nature. Bye.